Goal line stand that you guys threw up there in the second quarter to uh, keep Texas out of the end zone. Uh, when you stop it, we can get just everyone doing their job, making plays that need to be made. I mean, that just gives momentum and, and encourages our offense to know that if they do get stopped, we'll be there for them and back them up. So it was huge. The defense made a couple big plays there inside inside the five yard line. What are you thinking about on those plays? Is it just kind of a read and react sort of thing? What is it? You've got to be a wall. I mean, when you're, when you're protecting and keeping a 250-pound running back and a possible 260-pound quarterback like Swoops out of the end zone from the four or the three, it's just everyone stepping up and just and just thinking in their mind like they are not getting in. And then, of course, the play calling is huge too, blitzing off the edge and, and coming from where they don't expect it and making plays, guys making big-time plays and stepping up. So it was huge. Does having played a little bit of quarterback in high school, does that help in that situation? Yeah, it helps to, uh, to know what that quarterback's thinking. Because I know when I was in that situation back in high school, I wanted to pull it, especially because everyone's thinking of big backs going inside. And so just being smart, um, just just uh, thinking ahead. What do you think Deontay Foreman was thinking? He was thinking he was going to score. <laughs> but we are going to do whatever we had to do to stop him. What do you think of the job y'all did against him? He, uh, I know he still rushed for a significant amount of yards, and a lot of those came on big plays. Um, but he runs hard. I mean, he's, he's a competitor. And he goes out there, and he, and he grinds for his team. And uh, we, we found a way a lot of times to stop him, and that had a lot to do with Coach P and just play calling and, and the preparation we've been through. Um, but I know he's a competitor, and it was, it was a pleasure to play against him. He's done a great job this year. I think you even broke up a pass on a third or a fourth down play. Yeah. What, what happened on that one? Well, I know uh, earlier in the game, they had ran the exact same combination um, with the same receiver. And uh, so I figured whenever he stopped me curled up like that, I just went and decided to grab him, just knowing that there's a good chance that they might hit that again for a first down. And so by the time I got there and looked back, the ball was in the air. So I just had to bet it down. How would you describe the last six weeks or so of defense for you guys, ever since the West Virginia game? I mean, we all realized that if in order for us to win, like our defense is going to have to step up and make plays. And I think we finally started figuring out how to work together um, and, and do each of our 111s, as Coach P says, and um, just do what we need to do, get stops when we need them. Is it closer to what you expected coming out of the start of the year? Yeah, I think we obviously this shows what we're capable of, and, and it just took time. But if we could have figured this out sooner, obviously we'd be, it would have been a little better off. But, I mean, better late than never. <laughs> From a historic perspective, was it 1938, Carlos? The last time TCU beat Texas three years running. Yeah. Now you guys are part of that group. What does that mean? I mean, to be a part of history, something as big as that. I mean, Texas is a historic program. It's had a lot of success. And so it's just an honor and a blessing to be a part of this team and to have the opportunity to, to make a, to, to do that, to be successful like that. We'll do two more, we'll tie. How big